New in 3DS Max 2014, we now have the ability to have what's called pan and zoom mode, which allows us to work within our 3D elements yet maintain registration with our backplates. Let's see how that works. Let's reveal some test objects and some matte shadow geometry. Without using pan and zoom, you can see that our CG elements get out of registration with our backplate. Additionally, if I were to switch over to a camera, it's even worse because we're moving the camera and we could potentially completely break the registration between the position of the camera and the backplate. Enabling the 2D pan and zoom mode allows you to lock the registration between the CG elements and the backplate. So once I begin to pan and zoom, you can see that the backplate is now moving with my uh, camera as I move around, and I can even work with the zoom feature and zoom in on objects and my backlight goes with it. We get feedback up here in the viewport label that tells us what zoom percentage we're at and since it's a move I can simply undo my move and return us to the original position.